and today I'm gonna show you how to make my stuffed roasted butternut squash. Now this is one of my favorite holiday main centerpieces. It is gorgeous and super flavor packed, making it perfect for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any holiday occasion you want to celebrate. It's also handy dandy in the fact that it can be prepared ahead of time. You can have the entire squash all done, tied up with a bow, literally, and then you just cover it up, pop it in the fridge for up to three days, and then when you're ready to serve, just heat it through in the oven. Good to go. Talk about a stress-free holiday season, am I right? <laughs> the hearty stuffing in the center is so flavor-packed, full of wild rice, walnuts, dried cranberries, and sage. Ugh, it's so good. I have a hard time not eating all of it before it even makes it into the roast. All right, so let's get to making my stuffed roasted butternut squash. So grab yourself a butternut squash and we're just gonna cut it in half lengthwise. Now this might be a little tricky to do. Squashes are always hard to cut. So make sure you use a big knife, your biggest kitchen knife and give it a good sharpen. And just be careful while you're doing this. You don't want the knife to slip or get accidentally injured. So just take your time and slowly cut it in half. I just like to do a little wiggle wiggle. Yeah, I don't like this end dude. Get off there. I don't want the stem on there, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Perfect. There we go. That's better. Ta -da! Look at that amazing color. Isn't that so beautiful? So now just grab yourself a spoon and scoop out the guts and the seeds in the squash. And you can just discard those. This is my green bin. I'm not randomly just throwing squash guts in a drawer. That would be weird. One half. All right, excellent. Grab yourself a baking tray, put your squash halves on, and then drizzle about one tablespoon of oil over the surface of the squash. Then you can just use your fingers to rub that on in. Ooh, slimy. So now I'm just gonna pop these in my oven which has been heated to 350 and they'll bake for about 60 to 75 minutes depending on the size of your squash until they are fork tender. Now in the meantime while my squash is baking, I'm gonna start prepping the stuffing. So I'm gonna grab all my veggies and start chopping them up. Veggies are gathered. I have two carrots, two stalks of celery, a yellow onion, two cloves of garlic, and about a teaspoon of sage. Mmm, smells so good. So I'm just gonna chop them all up. Are you ready for it? Ta da! The power of editing. That probably didn't go that smoothly, did it? <laughs> so let's hop over to the stove and start cooking up this wild rice veggie stuffing. So good and hearty and delicious. <laughs> okay, over here at the stove, grab yourself a nice high sided skillet or a big pot, put it over some heat and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Get yourself a spoon. When the oil is hot, add in the carrots. No, why do I always lose some? Celery, onion, get in there, and garlic. Beautiful color. Saute up these veggies for about five minutes until, minutes? <laughs> for about five minutes until they soften and begin to brown. My veggies are looking nice and delicious and tender and a little bit golden. So now I'm gonna add in half a cup of wild rice and two cups of vegetable broth. Give that a stir just to mix it in and this time I actually have a lid. Cover it up and set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, go. So it has been 10 minutes. So now I just want to add in half a cup of white rice. I'm using jasmine today, I've used basmati. They all work. Just give that a stir in and cover and cook for another eight to 10 minutes until both of the types of rice are cooked and nice and tender. Wonderful. So my rice is now cooked and tender and you can see that all the broth is absorbed. So it's perfect, you can remove it from the heat 
And now I just want to season it up a little bit, so adding half a cup of chopped almonds, which are gonna add a nice little crunch, a little hearty chew. Half a cup of dried cranberries, which will add a bit of sweetness, some more chew. My chopped fresh sage. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. Give that a good stir. And my stuffing is all done, so I'm just gonna set that aside. And when my squash is cooked, I will meet you over at the counter and we will assemble it all together, make a gorgeous stuffed roasted butternut squash. Delish. My butternut squash is out of the oven now. It is nice and fork tender, but not overcooked because it is gonna cook a little bit more in the oven, so we don't want it to be complete mush. So now what I wanna do is scoop out the inside, but not all of the inside. I wanna leave about an inch thick of butternut squash so that it has some structure and shape. So what I like to do is just use my spoon and kind of score a little guide about an inch around the butternut squash so I can kind of see what bits I should be taking out. So now that I have my guide, I just want to scoop out everything in the middle there. And we're going to use this butternut squash flesh as well. Nothing goes to waste. So I'm just going to set the squash aside on the cutting board so that I can chop it up. Okay, that's probably good. And this guy, ah, it's hot. Should let it cool more than I did burning my fingers. So now with my squash filling, I'm just gonna quickly run my knife through it and chop it up. And all of this is gonna get stirred into the stuffing. I can put you here. This smells delicious. Scoop in this squash and mix it in. I got my gorgeous, fragrant, hearty stuffing. I have my hollowed out roasted squash. So all we have to do is fill up the squash. Just try to really pack it in there. Not only is it gonna help it hold together if it's nicely packed, but it's gonna be delicious. Pack it on in. Kinda want it like heaping full. Don't wuss out on the filling. Chickpea's standing by waiting for me to drop something. I think I've crammed as much as I possibly can in there. I still have a bit of filling left over, but you know what, I'm kinda happy about that. So now this is the hardest part. I have to flip one half onto the other half. So, okay. Let me just make sure that this is like extra packed in so hopefully it stays. And you just gotta go for it. You just gotta be quick. Yeah! Okay, we did it. We did it. Some bits might fall out and that's a-okay. And now to make it extra cute and to hold it together, just use some kitchen string and we can tie it up. Wiggle a little string down there, tie them on the center. Trim off extra string. Grab another piece for his bum. Now, I mean, come on. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? Now as always, I'll put the link to the full recipe down below in the description so you don't have to worry about trying to memorize all of the ingredients. So at this point, it's ready. If you want to save it, make it ahead of time, you can cover it in foil, pop it in the fridge, it'll be good for about three days, and then when you're ready, you can just heat it up. Or if you want to heat it up right now, like I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of olive oil. I like to season the outside because the skin is actually completely edible. We've cooked it so it's gotten nice and tender. So I just like to season it up a little bit so it is nice and flavorful. A little salt and a little pepper. So now he's good to go back in the oven until he's heated through and ready to serve. Beautiful, it's so beautiful. My squash is done and heated all the way through. Now I just have to very carefully maneuver this to my serving tray. This kind of looks disastrous, doesn't it? Okay, he made it. 
Yes, I love it. I love sprinkling on just a little bit of extra fresh chopped sage right at the end just for some garnish. You can like put some nice sage leaves around it if you want to make it look pretty. And there it is, my stuffed roasted butternut squash. Makes me so happy. <laughs> so of course, my favorite part, let's get to tasting it. Cut nice thick slices right through the skin. They might kind of fall apart, but that's okay. Let's serve one up. Yeah, love it. So pretty. I can't ever get over how pretty this is. So I made my quick onion gravy. I'll put a link to this recipe down below. I'm gonna have a little bit of that on top. Oh, it smells amazing. Give this a try. Get some of the butternut squash. That rice stuffing. Mmm! Mmm! -hmm. So good! The butternut squash is gorgeous and tender. That hearty wild rice stuffing with a little crunch of walnuts, the cranberry sweetness, little pops of chew, delicious. The spices, it tastes so festive and amazing. It is so good. I'm so excited about this recipe. Serve this up with some greens, all of your favorite sides. I mean, you can't ask for more than this. It tastes so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I hope you liked this video, and if you do, let me know by leaving a like. And if you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comments below how it turns out for you. If you take a photo of it, be sure to tag me on Instagram. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new vegan video every single Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bon Appetit! <laughs>